All right, here's what I think I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly, it's like for the next two or three videos, I'll be posting them both to my main and separate channel. That way, so someone uh, doesn't know that I have a second channel specific for, for my fish stuff, because I know at least one or two people that sub to my channel, kind of like watching what I do with my fish, or try to tell me what I should do, even though I don't listen to them normally. I'll slowly uh, wean that channel off and actually then start putting uh, all my main, all my, uh, all my fish stuff on my second channel. And I should actually put the uh, link for that channel in the, in the uh, both description box thingy below. But uh, I tend to forget to do that because, like I said, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so I don't do the whole uh, links down below and all that stuff unless it's something I'm trying to do or trying to. Eh, whatever. So, I'm going to now start the process of moving my two angels into, into their 10 gallon tanks. And as you can tell, I currently have two rams on this side with a plat, with a, uh, ram, with a, uh, whatever that little fish is, I forget its name. And I think I'm also going to do a little bit of a cleaning on the tank side. They're getting a little, uh, a little, little fogged up with uh, algae and whatnot. And everyone seems to be liking their new uh, fake plant setup. I'll slow, like I said, I'll slowly be planting out this tank. So right now, I'm going to like, I'm going to still have some more plants in here, but then I'll be doing the same thing to this side here, of course. And of course, once these guys are in their new home, this uh, divider is going to be torn down. That way, so all, that way, so these guys have this whole big tank to themselves. And I'm going to be rebuilding the uh, top for this uh, fish tank, for this uh, tank too. Whenever I, whenever I had opened it to do like general maintenance, water would always go down the sides and that was a pain in the butt. So I'm going to go back to the original, to the original lid design I had, except I'll make it a little bit more robust. My goldfish are still doing fine as you can tell. My new one, he's still active, he eats all the time. The mess little beauty. I'm also going to put him into his uh, tank today too. Here's the 10 gallon. I'm currently having a bacterial bloom in this tank. That's because the uh, filter right here already has activated has a beneficial bacteria inside it. So this thing has a so this thing has a bunch of beneficial bacteria. I have a secondary sponge filter here too. And I also have this water pump helping to circulate the water around. There's also a little bit of the filter fiber in here too to help, uh, to help keep the water a little clean. So now I'm going to uh, come back when I get the uh, fish into their little maybe one gallon temp tank so I can actually place them in here and actually, like, and actually acclimate them. Alright, so here's my 20 long. I got them out of the uh, out of their little size. The fish are freaking out, and I'm also going to be doing a small slight water change in this tank. I'm going to be gravel vacuum va gravel vacuuming this side of the tank. I'll probably gravel vacuum some of this side here too, but um, for the most part, this tank is doing just fine. Now this tank is fully open for all the fish. And there's two less fish, so less fighting going wrong. Going wrong, hopefully. The uh, these the little ones you see fall, chasing each other around, they're now like in this new bigger tank. And I, one thing sure, they definitely love the plants. Grammys, that's what they're called. Jeez, can't remember what they're called. The plants are slowly taking root, as you can tell. So there is more than enough nitrates being produced by these fish. For these plants to really start revving, revving up their uh, growth, and some of these guys are actually starting to come back from from, from the break of death. Granted, this granted this uh, leaf is pretty much gone. This leaf is kind of making a comeback. I don't know about this one, but the poppers plants are definitely doing their trick. I got my tank suit, my uh, fish tank supervisor right here with me again. Let's see. <clears throat> Here are my two angels. 
these two were a massive pain in the butt to catch. What I ended up doing was using these uh, better cups I got from Petco and not the ones from Walmart because the ones from Walmart are like this. They're, they volume wise, these two cups are exactly the same volume wise, but but uh, these cups are a lot bigger. Or a lot, well, not as tall and they're a lot more wider. So I can easily just, uh, basically what I do is um is that I'll is that I'll put is I'll have them is that I'll have them swim up to the glass where where sides are facing the glass, and then I'll just then I'll just uh trap them uh, trap them right at the, right with the cup at the glass. That way, so I can do the least amount of damage possible to them, and then I just uh then I just uh, use this to uh to uh to just uh transport them or put the lid on and whatnot, then pull them out of the tank and then put them in this one gallon. So why do I have them in this one gallon? Well, to make it a lot more easier for me to acclimate them. I'll come back in a second. All right, and here's what I mean. They're now in this, now they're in this little 10 gallon tank. I'm gonna let them sit here and I'm gonna let them sit here for about 10 minutes, well not 10 minutes, but 30, 40 minutes or so, give or take. And then I'll release them into this tank. I got my other tank supervisor right here, Patty Dum Dum, and my third tank supervisor, Abby the Annoyance. Apparently, she wants to come in, so come on, Dum Dum. Since they, since she's got kind of fixed, we can actually let her in the house for a little more longer. But with that said, normally I just boot her right out after like 15 minutes, or after like 15 seconds, because um, she has her shots and everything, but she does, but she hasn't had her flea dip and whatnot, so we still gotta do that. And it looks like these two, someone are getting along. Well, I know Patty's more or less a good cat. Abby's absolutely a good cat, but now I gotta move this thing back out to the back. So I'll come back when I uh, get this uh, tank set up. Or get the fish in their tanks. All right, Abby, you ready to go into the backyard, aren't you? Oh no, you're not, but you got to, unfortunately. All right, so they've been sitting in their little one-gallon temp tank for about an hour and a half or so. I could have released them in 30 minutes, but I wanted to let them sit there for an hour. So now, time to release the little stinkers and see what happens. Now, do I expect them to start spawning right away? No. Do I want them to? No. I still gotta set this thing up properly, so give me a second to uh, tone down the uh, flow rate on this pump before I release them. Okay, that's giving me more power, or is that giving me less power? Okay, so that's more power. So then if I go like this, that's less power. Give me a second. Okay, yeah. do the trick it's still causing water to flow but it's also at a lower rate so it doesn't stress them out too much and the water that in the um, one in the water that's in the one gallon is the water that was originally in the uh, 20 long so they're getting some of their so they're still getting some of their original live water from the uh, 20 long and now they're just going to sit there and explore and I'll chime in on them in about six hours. So give me a second to uh, place the lid on. There we go. And if you're wondering about it being all cloudy like this, I think I stated this before, but I can't remember since, I, since I've been working on other stuff. The reason why it's cloudy like this is due to the, uh, is due to this thing having, due to this tank having a bacterial bloom. 
And I also should explain why I have this and this here. I have this here because they originally spawned on it. So I want to put this in here into the tank to occur to for them to encourage them to do their business again. But I've also added these in here for them to do their spawning on these too. And I have two different sides facing. I have two side I have two that are facing with the glossy side and I have the other side with the rough side facing because um what I've noticed is that the eggs will fall off on this thing. So I want to see if they'll spawn. So I want to kind of want to see what they spawn on. So um, like I said, I'll come back in about six hours or so. So it's currently eleven. I'll be coming back around five p.m. and give an update on these guys and whatnot. I think I'll probably chime in on the twenty long next. I'm not sure. Okay, so yeah, I decided to chime in on this way along. As you can tell, I'm currently in the process of doing a water change. I'm currently let the I'm currently letting the tank sit for a little while prior to doing a water change, mainly to let the uh, water just cycle for a little bit. And since I've uh, since I've uh, removed the uh, removed the divider, I also want to give them a little bit of a time to check everything out before I uh, start a. Uh, adding another batch of water and it looks like I got another pair of angels right here that I've paired up I don't know about this one as long as it, as long as these two don't be a butt to, to all to all my other fish I think we'll be fine but they're all getting along so that's a good thing and my grommy seems to more or less not care about the other two grommies now since there's a lot more uh, plants but they're still, but he's still chasing after after everyone. So he's the dominant Grammy. I have to look into a way to uh, stop him being such a jerk to 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 the other little Grammys. But I'm still going to keep the Grammys. They're still very beautiful. Oh yeah, and that betta fish I was talking about—that's on top of the uh, fish, on top of the goldfish tank. He will be going into this tank here. I will be dividing this tank into a three, and I'll give them and I'll allow me to keep that keep that one betta, and uh, it'll still give these guys more than it'll still give these guys room, just not enough. But as you can tell, they're so alive and active. But um, currently, I'm not going to do it right now because um, I've learned to just take it slow because I don't want to burn myself out. I work on a tank for X amount. Of mi I work on a tank till it's done. Then I take like a 30 minute to an hour break and I work on the next tank and whatnot. That way, so I don't burn myself out. All right, so here's that 10 gallon I was talking about. So right here, as you can tell, I'm filling it up. And I was thinking, okay, this gravel's good to go. All I really gotta do is I just gotta gravel back and take out and take out as much poo from the original inhabitants as possible. That way, so when I put the angels in this tank for when they're done spawning in the current tank they're in, I can uh, put them in here without much without much problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up fill this up with five gallons of water. It's gonna take about. Five ten minutes or so because I'm just using this. I'm gonna fill it up to about like here. Or so and then I'm just gonna gravel back the snot out of the gravel and then drain as much as I can to make it a lot more lighter. And then clean the glass and then place it on the uh, place it where it's going to be placed and then spend the next thirty minutes filling the thing up with water. And then of course I'm going to uh, replace the uh, filter fiber. Actually, no, I'm not. No, actually, the only yeah. Let's see, am I using carbon? Okay, I'm gonna replace the top. The, I'm gonna replace the top piece of filter fiber, and I'm gonna replace as much as much of this carbon as possible. I'm gonna leave the uh, bottom filter, the bottom filter uh, fiber alone, and I'm gonna leave the uh, gravel alone. That way, so this thing will have as much uh, this. That way, so this will have as much beneficial bacteria as it will, as it has as it needs. And what I'm gonna do is I've been wanting to build a three and a, build an R sponge filter for this tank. That way, so this guy 
my little uh, my little koi betta, which he really doesn't look like, doesn't look like a koi betta anymore. Which is uh, it's not always so, all. Um, he'll just have a standard sponge filter, but um, it's also there's also a lot of film, and I want to give him something that's a little bit more nicer on him. So that way, so he doesn't have to really worry about current or whatnot. And I might do a little bit of clean out in the uh, filters. I know I'm actually going to do a. Uh, I'm actually going to do a. Uh, do a uh, actual. Uh, gravel vac and wire change in this tank which I actually haven't done in about three months so yeah everyone's still doing just fine got me another tank inspector outside waiting to come in so here's a 10 gallon I got it all reset up again I'm letting the filter run for a little while because I'm late because I want to let this stuff do its job now, granted, I could just let this let this tank sit, and the and the uh, water will just naturally lose its uh, lose uh, its uh, chlorination. But I want to, but I just want to put some of that stuff in there just to be on the safe side for what for what I've had happen in the past with my fish. I don't want to risk my angels that I'm currently that are currently still checking everything out in their new tank to just die immediately when I put them in this tank. Granted, this tank will probably be sitting for about, like, like probably like three weeks before they start doing their thing again. I don't know when they're actually going to start it again, but they're just sitting there, checking everything out. They're looking at me. And I got my tank inspector here. This is what's making the noise. This is Patty, my very special needs cat. Here's the bed of tank. As you can tell, I'm definitely going to be doing some cleaning in this tank, which is actually pretty well neat. This tank really needs a clean, so yeah. Patty, what do you want? You have no idea, do you? What do you want, Patty? Okay, I'm going to stop here and pet the cat before I turn this into another cat video. All right, final update for now. Um, as you can tell, the angels are in. It's around 6.45 p.m. So they've been in this tank now for about five hours or so. They're more or less acting just as normal as, as they were in, in the 20 long. It looks like the damage that they did to each other has hit, is healing up very quickly, actually, which is pretty amazing. I got my other 10 gallon set up. This one is just going to sit here and run. That way so this thing can really get the beneficial bacteria going. This one has a beneficial bacteria bloom going so that's why like, I like keep saying it's cloudy. And I'm using the hang on, hang on the back filter that was originally on this tank. That way, and I'm going to be building, building a new sponge filter for this tank in a few days or so. I just need to get some more airline tubing. But that's pretty much it. At least for now. All right, and I guess I'll also chime in on this tank for now to file it to round out this video. So far, everyone seems to be liking the new tank. I've noticed the Rams are out a little bit more. This guy, I believe, is more or less taking over this side because the other two Grammys are hanging out more. And this angel right here looks a little bit of a chub chubs, so it might be egg laden. And I'm guessing the other two are males. I don't know. But as you can tell, there's one of my other Grammys. The other Grammys right there. And apparently my iPhone can't, can't focus in on fish. Because logic. Yeah, it looks like everything's coming along just fine in this tank, and also the roots on the pappas plants. Like I said, like I said before, the roots are just exploding in this tank. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here and just uh, edit it together and upload it. 
But yeah, just another, I guess you'd say, day and what I do for fish. I don't know how many videos I'll be uploading per week on my fish, but um, I just I just do videos whenever I feel like it.